let's design our dnac go to design under network hierarchy let's create a new area so I, here i am going to create the areas in india that's the area under global i want to have add so it's created i can see the message success now i'll create a so now if you can see i can create one more area sub area and i can also create building under area so for this lab exercise i'd be creating a i'll be creating a building so now under building i'm going to create as in a bangalore iphone one one building so i need to provide a address so it can be visible in the map so currently i don't want to type any address i just give the or you can give the latitude or longitude the longitude uh, latitude and longitude is important uh, either you have to find it by typing the address or you have to manually enter the latitude and longitude so now i here just enter uh, the dummy latitude and longitude for a lab purpose i just given one one latitude and longitude and add okay now the building is added now if i see under area india i have bangalore building now i am creating one more building under india that is bangalore 2 so i'll just follow the same thing here i'll just give some dummy number add add it so we have now two buildings bangalore 1 and bangalore 2 so if you want to change the parameter like your latitude longitude now you can edit and add it later now i am going to add on a floor so i will have a floor one and a building bangalore one so if you see the parent is already chosen bangalore one and you have to give the uh, width length and height so this will help you to calculate the heat map if you are managing your wireless also from the dnac so if, please try to provide the accurate details here and you can also upload the floor plan So now we are not going to do the floor plan number so i'm just going to ignore this ignore the heat map and uh, i'll add one more floor floor two so the floor type also you can select which type of the floor high ceiling or normal cubicle area so floor to added okay now i will add uh, two more uh, floors under building two likewise what we added in bangalore one so i already done now so now if i go to global i can see my area and the buildings that i have created in a map view so now we are seeing bangalore one and bangalore two so now network hierarchy is done you have bangalore one and bangalore two with their respective floors now go to network settings under design now click on network design you could see the same hierarchy following here also the network hierarchy will follow in each tab so let's give this ip address dhcp server which is in our data center and the dns server so as we are describing in our uh, topology uh, we are going to use the same ip address or the same server for both dhcp dns and ad so repeat the same IP address for DNS as well I'm going to use the domain sda.com and this is going to be my primary DNS server and SNMP server again the same and time zone I will be choosing IST let's find for IST so I got Asia Kolkata select so this is the message the legal message that you want to give anybody want anybody when trying to access the devices so now for uh, example i will give this is banner that i want to show you can give your organization's legal message that you want to provide for any device so here there is an options to add few more servers so here this is like triple a netflow dice so i will select triple a and NTP 
So triply is two. One is for network and another one is for client. So this is the IIS server that we have integrated earlier. So these are the uh, this server will be used when somebody tries to log in to the network devices. The authentication will be sent to this particular server. So NTP I will again use the same NTP server that running in our data center. Client I have configured not configured for now. We will do that later. So go to device credential. So these are the credentials that DNAC will use when it is trying to communicate to the network devices that is being managed by DNAC. So I will give like uh, there are a couple of uh, uh, local username I am going to create in the devices. So I will use them here. I give some meaningful name so that I can identify which credential I am using here. I added a CLI credential. Also, it needs an SNMP read and write. I will be using SNMP version 2. So, just give SNMP read only credential. SNMP community. So, we will give SNMP name, the credential name is SNMP and the community that I want to use it in the network devices. So I'll just write the community here. Then save. We also need to create the write community. So I'll just write. So now I'll create a version 2 and write. I'll give a name SNMP underscore right just W and give the SNMP right community. Now save it. It is success. Now for HTTP, I'm not going to use HTTP credentials to manage the devices. So it is okay not to create this now. So credentials are created. If I click on write, I can see the write community and read in the read community. I also want to use this as a default. So I'll just click on this radio buttons available on the left side of each credential. So this needs to be clicked or enabled when you want to do the LAN automation. There should be a default uh, credential should be available for the DNAT to use in the LAN automation. So I am just enabling them. Then we'll go to IP address pool that I want to use it for the network and the user space network is that when you use the LAN automation and user space when user joins the network which IP address they want to use so I'll add the IP pool so here I want to create one large IP pool on the global level and I will reserve sub pools under my building level or the site level okay so I created an IP pool in Bangalore so for Bangalore I want to use 192.5.0.0 slash 16 okay I have not selected the subnet correctly I will just correct it slash 16 I want to use slash 16 and save it now okay done it is success it is successfully created now I will go to from the global I can either go to site for the building to reserve the IP pool for that specific building uh, site or the area so now let's go to area and reserve the IP pool so globally I have slash 16 IP address I added to global now I will go to Bangalore and reserve a IP pool so on top right if you can see there is a reserve IP pool button click on it so now I will create couple of IP pools so for simplicity and to save some time what I will do I will create couple of pools and I will resume the video recording again so I am almost in the last IP pool so created so here if you see so I have created LAN automation pool which will be used for provisioning the new device or configuring the new device when I am attaching to my seed device and AP inflow pool for APs to join the WLC 
and uh, and overlay pool one and overlay pool two which will be used for the user space whenever a client joins in the fabric they also need an ip address so for them i have created overlay one and overlay two and these subnets has to be advertised outside of my fabric so for that i have created an l3 output so this will be used uh, to make a bgp neighborship between border to my campus core so now we have ready our network hierarchy is done and we have set the all the system level settings that snmp syslog or the ntp server and the banner supposed to be used and dhcp dns for this uh, switches or the routers so and also the ip address pool that i want to use within the fabric this is all will be using when we are provisioning the new device or when we are accepting the new client in the network let's see how it is done in our next videos thank you